I buy phone after phone, and it seems that none of them are ever going to be perfect. If you go caseless, here's a shot for you. But here's the thing is most people are not going to use this phone without a case. The main reason, the back is glass. It's frosted glass with the power button and the volume rocker. You're definitely going to want to put a screen protector on here. I have thought a couple times about getting rid of my iPhone just to use the Pixel for a while. The phone is nice and fast, super smooth, battery life is great, and these extra widget wallpapers are kind of fun to play with. The Pixel watch doesn't look so small on camera, but this thing is small in person. Yeah, I got it charging right now with this Anchor charger. It's a 30 watt charger and it actually works pretty good. I unplugged both my PlayStations and haven't really been doing any of the gaming or anything. Just been basically messing with my phone. Do I really need to charge it right now? Nah, probably not. It was at 65% at about 12.30 and I've been on this phone all morning. This smartwatch really is one of the better smartwatches I've had. This is the Pixel Watch 2. It works perfect with the Pixel 8 Pro. Do you like this phone? Is it a good phone? She doesn't know either. Yeah, I got a phone instead of a chair. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Nobody's ever accused me of making the best choices. Let's ask my chickens what they think. Should they get this phone? Good one? No, she says no. Oh, Henry says yes. If I was to get a Pixel 8 Pro or a chicken coop, I'd probably just buy the chicken coop. Great battery life, good pictures. Moving the phone like this, and it is actually not moving as much as I think it would on a normal phone. And let's see if I'm walking forward, what it will do. Let's go and get a wide shot. It's very steady. I wouldn't mind using this at all. This is great, actually. Um, let's go ahead and zoom this in as far as it'll go. That's about as best as you're gonna get on this. And let's try walking with it in 20 times zoom. Let's see if I'll lose my spot. I'm gonna do my best to keep on that same spot. So yeah, I moved it a little bit accidentally. So yeah, let's go ahead and compare it to the S23 Ultra. Definitely have no problem viewing this screen outside. The S23 Ultra looks great. Test this stabilization, doing about the same thing. And it's also pretty stable. Going backwards. Let's go ahead and get a wide angle real quick. There's one, there's three, and there's 10. So that's all we can get as far as we can get. So it's about the same as the Pixel. And let's see if it'll track It stay on the spot that we want it to. I think it was easier to keep the Pixel on than this one. I love using it. I say go for it. I'm only gonna ask one more time. Is it a good phone? Should they get this case? Choosing a case couldn't be easier. You can get this speaking thin fit in a nice color like this right here. And it's kind of grippy as well. I've got a MagSafe converter on here as well from ESR. Highly recommend these. Yeah, should they? No? Oh, she walked on by. What's cool about getting this phone is guess what? Next year you can just get another one. So maybe it's not such a big choice. Maybe you got seven years of support. So maybe you can keep this phone for possibly the rest of your life. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, bye.